Facebook releases a few details about Project Cambria along with its major rebranding announcement under Meta Brand. Instagram brings the links feature which is inside Instagram stories to all accounts. Twitter Spaces gets new recording and replay facility inside the app. All this and much more coming up in this week's edition of the Connected Church News. Welcome, I'm Nachi Lazarus and this is the show that brings you the top 5 digital and social media news each week in just 5 minutes. Let's get started. Our first big news of this week is from Facebook. Last week, Facebook made a major rebranding announcement related to their corporate entity. The company, Facebook company, which owns Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp is now rebranding itself to the name Meta. But uh, what I wanted to bring to your notice is the other announcements that came along with that. Not many news items are actually talking about it. But the keywords that you need to note in all these announcements, I will uh, link to the uh, founder's letter. I will also link to all the other announcements that Facebook released. And some of the keywords are very interesting because this is not just about metaverse. This is not just about VR, virtual reality. This is uh, about bigger things, broader things other than that. Uh, for example, they use the word digital connection. They are using the word uh, mixed reality. They are using the words experiences. These are key terms in the digital space, which are important for you and me as a church and nonprofit leader to understand because this is going to define the way yeah, people connect with each other and with us as a ministry, as a nonprofit in the future using technology. If you are wondering, like many of my other church leaders, if you are wondering, what is metaverse? What is meta? I'm a church leader. I only know Bible verse, but what is metaverse? Then we've got a detailed YouTube video for you about all this announcement and what this means for churches and ministries. It's on our YouTube channel. We will link to it here. Do have a look. Our next news is from Google. Last week, Google made two major announcements. One is about the release of a payment plan called Pixel Pass. Pixel Pass is similar to Apple's effort where they are connecting hardware, which is the mobile phone, along with all the premium subscription services. So they bring in one monthly subscription in which you get all the premium services. If you remember, Apple has one where you can pay once and then everything, including Apple TV, Apple Music, all of that is included in that. Uh, similarly, Google is bringing out this Pixel Pass where you will get Google One, YouTube Premium, YouTube Music, all of that built along with uh, the hardware. So it is linked to the hardware. So it is quite an interesting revenue model. Do have a look. The second major announcement is about WhatsApp and Android. So if you remember, uh, there were earlier announcements from WhatsApp about uh, moving data, WhatsApp data, WhatsApp chat history from iPhone to Android being enabled on Samsung devices. Now, uh, Android, Google has said all Android devices are going to get that facility as long as they have uh, Android 12 running on them. So uh, they're just expanding that capability to m m multiple Android phones and it's going to be uh, two way. So you can go from iPhone to Android and Android to iPhone. Our next big news is from Instagram. Last week, Instagram announced that you can now add links in your Instagram stories even if you don't have 10K followers or even if you're not a verified account. So you know that one of the major drivers for people to go after a 10K follower, 10,000 follower mark was to get that link facility where you can swipe up uh, when you are looking at Instagram stories. But now uh, Instagram says they are rolling it out to all users, which is a good thing for churches, ministries, nonprofits, because you can now uh, you know, start sending people back to various websites and other places uh, that you want them to go to when you do a story. So could be significant announcement for churches and ministries. Do have a look and pass it on to your social media team. Our next news is from TikTok. Last week, TikTok announced that they are expanding the video kit integration to more third party platforms and developers, which basically means that you will start seeing share to TikTok option in many more video tools than you used to. For example, Capwing, which I know is a tool that many churches use, will now start getting that API and they will uh, have that feature within their tool. So they already have many uh, integrations in place and now TikTok is just expanding those integrations, which could be a good thing and make it much easier for you to create content for TikTok. Our final news of this week is from Twitter and it's a big one. Twitter Spaces now gets recording and replay capabilities. So when you start a conversation, some of you on iOS initially, because they're rolling this out to iOS users, and uh, you will see the recording option. So you can choose to record that conversation. 
after you finish the conversation, you can then make it available on Twitter timeline for people who are not able to join that conversation live. Now, this could be really useful for ministries and nonprofits in many circumstances because not all your audience are going to be able to join that live conversation. So maybe you and your leaders can have this conversation. You can bring people, have this interaction and engagement and then make all of this available to your audience at a later point in time. So it could be quite an interesting feature for Twitter spaces. That's all I have for you this week. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions or thoughts or feedback about any of the stories we talked about, leave them in the comment section. We also have all the source links and details in the description. We also have all of this detail in our news page, nachilazarus.com slash news. Do have a look. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. I'll see you next week with another set of news items. Until then, you stay connected and stay blessed. God bless you. I'll see you next week. Bye.